Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite, and today I'll show you how we can put this tablet into safe mode. So to get started, pull down your notifications, extend the list, and here you'll find your power button. So click on it. This will bring up two options, power off and restart. You want to hold power off. This will then change into safe mode. Click on it once more to initiate the reboot and once the device boots back up it will then boot straight into safe mode. Now I'll just mention this right now. Safe mode is designed to troubleshoot your device. It's not really a mode that you want to use for just day-to-day -day usability. Come on, camera focus, there we go. Uh, and the reason for that is is because in safe mode only the default applications that come with the device uh, function normally. Any application that you have installed yourself will be temporarily disabled. So even if you try to open it up, it will just give you a pop-up that downloaded apps disabled in safe mode, and there is nothing really that you can do about it, apart from booting it into normal mode. Now, additionally, those apps cannot start on their own, so if uh, you're scared that Zuck is spying on you with Facebook, you can literally boot it into safe mode, and Zuck ain't got no access to anything, because Facebook is disabled or should be disabled in safe mode. And sometimes that's not actually the case. We'll see if Samsung decided to count Facebook as a non like system app, because that's basically what it would be classified as. So let's see if we have Facebook. It looks uh, like we don't. Although it looks like I don't have Facebook here at all, which is a good thing, I would say. So yeah, uh, now, as you can see, uh, some of the apps changed a little bit. So you can see a couple here, 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 and one here. So all these apps are the apps that are disabled in safe mode. They change into this monochrome color to signify that they just can't run. And if you try to tap on it, as you can see, it gives you this pop-up that I mentioned before. So there we go, that's it. Now once you're done with this mode and you want to go back to the normal one, just pull down your notifications, extend it, and again, tap on your power button, and from here you can select restart. This will reboot the device, and once it boots back up, it then goes back to normal mode. So with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.